One of the most crucial steps is putting your team together. You need to involve personnel from various levels and areas in your organization. Make sure that you consider representatives from the core services departments, the departments that provide the critical business functions, again, the critical support departments. IT must be involved because remember that IT and security both will work together to implement your business continuity plan. The legal department to make sure that your plan covers any statutes or regulatory requirements to ensure that you're providing all the services that you've promised you will provide or you're required to provide. And of course, upper management. It's important to have upper management. They must be represented in your team because basically you're going to need from the very beginning support from upper management throughout the planning process because you're going to need time commitments from team members. Planning for business continuity means a lot of grunt work. It's going to take people from different departments working together and taking time out of their regular schedules. As long as you have upper management supporting you in every step you take, it's a whole lot easier to ask for people's time from their manager, perhaps, if you've got higher level management saying, yes, this is what we want, than if the security department by itself is trying to push this process. Also, many different times, especially when you're testing your business continuity plan, you may have to interrupt regular service to see how the plan works. In order to do that, you are artificially stopping the business. Without upper management support, you're not going to be able to do that. And last but not least, you're going to need some money at some point. Whether it's money to buy consulting time, money to buy hardware, or money to buy anything else. When you need money, if upper management is supporting you, it's a whole lot easier to get a hold of it than if not.